I do appreciate that they they've um this is a heavily inspired by a Final Fantasy 7 song. I like it. I remember that weapon. I have to Kuro, no! I can't stop you for some reason. Don't! Weapon 001 activated. Annihilation imminent. Please evacuate immediately. Kuro, why did you do that? Everything will be destroyed because of you! Forgive me, Fina. This voice in my head. Who are you? It's all over! The end. Now, I'm hoping <laughs> the end. No, it's just the beginning. Yeah. I mean, it might literally be the beginning. Dual personality. Yeah, but I, I want to save. I want to. I need to go to sleep. It's midnight. <laughs> Mum? Are you? There, there now. Just relax. You've been asleep for almost nine years now. I had a horrible nightmare. I dreamt I went back in time. It was terrible. Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1049. 1049? Hey, who are you? You're not my mum. The name. It's been a while since I've needed it. You can call me... Huh. Ceres. Ceres. I have a feeling we have met before. I was just a little... Uh, I need... I don't have a third girl voice. I barely had two. I was just a young girl. Uh, it's a... It's a... And here's the famous Kuro. Reunited again after all this time. You know Kuro? Then maybe you can help him. Game, let me save. Help him? I already have. When we first met, you helped me escape from the Imperial Guards. I aided you in kind by saving you from the weapon's explosion. The weapon? It's horrible. The great disaster did happen. We were supposed to prevent it. But Kuro... Not everyone can escape their destiny. Fina, where are we? The weapon. It exploded and then... F Velvet, you're okay. What a relief. The weapon blew up and then Ceres saved us. I think she brought us to the future. I can't remember Sarah's. The future? Since we're travelling through time, I'd rather be at the time of the Magi. Well, we'll get there soon enough. Ceres, is that your name? You seem unique. Neither human nor demon. My father was a demon. My mother, a human. Well, I think so. My memories are all blurred. Amazing! 
I don't think there's ever been a case like yours before. You truly are unique. Let me examine you. Let me save. Hi. Velvet, Sarah saved us from the explosion. You should be re really thanking her. Sorry, I'm fascinated by mysteries and anything out of the ordinary. Hey, speaking of mysteries. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, what? A little bit weird. A little, oh. Kuro, are you okay? Got your wits back? I don't really talk. About what happened in the weapon room? We don't need to discuss that. Kuro never wanted it to happen, and it's not his fault. We just have to use another Magalef to go back before that moment and stop the weapon from exploding. Great idea! However, that might create a space-time paradox. I'm not sure what will happen then. Well, it's our only shot. Sadly, it's not impossible. What? Megaliths were designed specifically to prevent that sort of thing. If you return now to what is your present, you'll always arrive after the weapon is triggered. Um, I've I've written stories of time travel, and that's my own personal rule as well. Like all, actually, all time travel stories do it. Um, not ones that are specifically about creating paradoxes, but if you want a stable time paradox, you just you you just make a rule that says that each time has a continuity that you can't break, and then you don't have to worry about that. No, I can't be. Let me fucking save. Sorry about swearing. I'm just my village. My family. May I ask how you know this? Only the ancient major knew about how the Magaliths operated. I don't know. I have memories. And sometimes I see things that are yet to come. For the Magaliths, I know it won't work. How fascinating! It's possible your heritage has bestowed you with abilities no one has ever seen. As for the weapon, there is another way. Really? Oh, you're awesome, Ceres. It won't be that easy. Sorry, that was the other woman's voice. But with the magic key, we can indeed accomplish this feat. The magic key? One of the three legendary Magi artifacts. You know where it is. It's rather complicated. The Magi created the key as a kind of safety. It, I'm gonna. I might have to cut this in two. Uh, it was some supposed to remove something from the fabric of time, but it was far too dangerous. So they broke it and gave each fragment to the leader of their time. For a long time. I've been looking for these fragments. I think I know where they are. I will need your help to gather them. So that's it. I never thought that time itself could have changed. Well, not before meeting Kuro and Fina. So if you use the Magi Key to remove the weapon from time, it will have never existed and will never have been activated. Exactly. That's perfect. Let's go find the Magi key pieces and wipe out the heinous weapon once and for all. We'll trust this guy that literally just blew it up. It's fine. I do hope the consequences aren't worse yet. Oh. You're not going to jump in as well? No, I guess... I thought, I thought she was going to replace him. Right, I'm assuming it's saved. Kuro, I have memories of you as well. I think we share something. Oh, I almost forgot. Take this, it's important. I've got a control terminal. Looks super technologically advanced. 
This item allows you to journey through the ages. With it, you can activate the Magaliths. Use it to find all the fragments. I will open a pathway for you all. Kuro. You'd like to know about the pieces of the Magi Key? Yes. Information about which fragment... Ugh. Alright, I'm just gonna... I'll have to cut this episode in two, I think. The Fragment of Fire. Have you met the pirates before? Their hideout can be found in your present near a volcano. They possess the Fragment of Fire. Information about which fragment... Uh, fragment of Ice, please. When the Empire ruled the land... Before the frozen continent began to melt, there lived fierce Vikings. They guard the fragment of ice. Information about which fragment? Uh, the fragment of nature, please. Far to the southwest lies an island, and on this island is a timeless forest. And deep within that forest, you'll find the fragment of nature. Ugh. Demons locked a fragment away in their most sacred temple. But its location was lost when Demonia was destroyed in the Great War. Time. There is said to be a special megalith in Windy Valley. It supposedly grants access to the fragment of time. The one most shrouded in mystery. None. To locate the fragments, you'll have to travel through time. Use the controller I gave you on a Magalith. I wish I could join you, but I must return to me if you seek to know more about the fragments. Right, so yeah, we got the time machine. And I can either have a 50 minute episode or like two short episodes. I may as well have two normal length episodes, to be honest. Which means all this widening I've been doing has made no sense, but, um... Beam me up, Scotty! Okay, I was seeing if I could check which time period. Right. So I didn't pay attention to any of that, obviously. Um. I thought I'd go and see if I could find dude. Well, where exactly did you want to go? What? You want to go to the Cursed Isle? I left you there a while back. Isn't this just my lucky day? Fair warning, there's no way we're docking there. You'll have to get off on the rowboat and yada yada yada. Yes. Yes. Is that guy not surprised that he left the island and then found me? No? Right, I'm, I know I went through all those conversations. I might have to write down on the time periods. I just figured it would be obvious. What the heck are you on about? Ah. I'm only theorizing. It is equally possible we will end up in my era. On all that of Miss Fina and Dexterminator. 
But, as Miss Fina would say, I fear we have no other choice anyway. Exactly. Off we go, Kuro. We won't know till we get there. And I don't want to stick around in this future. They've disappeared! Why did I fail to leave with them? And what am I to do now? Cool. I literally went exactly to the correct place. Shouldn't that have already been up? Because the other group put it up. Oh, I want to see this in... There we go. Minos! I'm glad to see you again. Dex Terminator! Miss Fina! I thought you had vanished forever. That must mean the Magalith did not serve its purpose. Actually, it did. It worked just fine. But it's a long story. Where should I start? They explained the story. I can hardly believe it. My son. A terrorist? Also, we... And the weapon. But I mustn't worry so. Reno is no longer a child in this era, so he surely must have fled before the explosion. Perhaps I shall see him yet. Yeah, hang on, and what? I too was rather surprised to see the material materi materialize out of thin, out of nowhere. I was about to say thin air, but she disagreed. And when they told me everything, I had trouble believing it as well. Who would believe someone claiming to be from the future? I wasn't truly convinced until after speaking with Cerez. Cerez, can we trust her? She saved us from the weapon's explosion. And she told us how to collect the shattered pieces of the Magi Key. I am well aware of that, apparently. Miss Fina, uh, and she may ha have my deepest gratitude. Without her, I would never have seen you two again. But my father always told me that everything comes at a price. Why exactly did she come to your aid? That much I would like to know. In any case, her knowledge about the Major I can't be questioned. The sparse descriptions of the Major Key I studied confirm her explanation. That changes nothing for my son. On the contrary, if we wipe the weapon from the timeline, Reno will never have thought to try activating it. A sizable chunk of history will be rewritten. To be perfectly honest, the very thought of it frightens me. How can we be sure there won't be any unintended consequences? Well, I'm not going to sit around doing nothing. There's always a risk, no matter what you do in life. Especially with messing around with time travel. And frankly, it can't get much worse than this. I agree with Miss Fina. Regardless of what we change, the situation can only improve for me. For us, definitely. Perhaps not for everyone else. But then, I suppose it is worth a shot. I really hope we're doing the right thing, Kuro. Guy who caused quite a lot of this issue in the first place. Quick, let's bring the pieces of the Magi key to Ceres. I'm pleased to be helping you once again, Dexterminator. Yay! Do we get to choose where we go? Oh, this is original time. Hmm. 
Noobs, ain't ya? Better watch it or I swear I'll rage quit this crew. What is the meaning of this? Ooh, it's the Grand Magus. You sound surprised, Colonel. Surprised? Coming from you, Magus, it's no surprise. But you... How could you? Honestly, Colonel. Come now. Try not to frighten my lieutenants. I'll soon have need of them. Your lieutenants? They belong to the Empire. Times change, Colonel. You see, I long served your great Emperor, but no more. Now I have my turn on the throne. I've decided to establish my own Empire right here. You're a madman! All you have... You, all you have are a few dozen soldiers. In just a few months, the real Emperor will be here with his army. You won't stand a chance against him. Do not worry too much. For my sake, Colonel, I've, I've not been able to play for ages. And that time, I will have conquered Demonia and wiped out the last of the demons and my army will rival that of the Emperor. But how? I shan't reveal all my secrets, Colonel. Now, if you excuse me, I have a continent to conquer. Traitor. I have to stop them. Exterminator. We must act quickly. Demonia is yet to fall. I can still aid my people. Cool. I just picked a random place and it seems to be the right one. I know you. You fled the Colosseum. What did you go by? Right. Exterminator, wasn't it? What are you doing out here? Ah, oh, I see. Naturally, if you're with a demonian prince, where else would you go? Let us through. I'm sorry, but there's no use fighting them. You would need an army to reach demonia. Even I'm powerless for the time being. There's one possibility. We could team up with the Empire. Make a pact with Demonia? That's ludicrous. I missed the line there, didn't I? But there's no other way. If we don't stop Mag Magus from fighting... But if we don't stop Magus, the fighting will only get worse. Tens of thousands will die. That's what I learned in school anyway. We have to stop Magus before he makes it to Demonia. Joining forces is the only way to do that. It is imperative we reach Demonia before the time runs out. And if, to that end, I must ally with the Empire, for a short while at least, so be it. Tolkien. It's not possible. I can't. My orders. We are at war with Demonia. Maybe, but it's the Magus who started this war. Hoping to seize Demonia and keep it for himself. And knowing that, you still want to follow orders? You ought to know uh, to bend the rules. You ought to know to bend the rules when it's for the good of the Empire. I... I can't. I can't go against orders. 
Well, Kuro, it seems it won't be easy to persuade Dolkin. In my time period, he's known for having led the army that fought Magus. The battle turned into a real bloodbath, and thousands died on both sides. That's why he's been dubbed Dolkin the Red. After his victory, if you can call it that, he left the military. He's likely still alive in my time. Makes me wonder where he would be now. We must convince him to allow us passage. Sorry. I must come... There's been like 40... There's been so much talking in these two episodes. I must come to my people's aid. Why won't he accept our help? It's the best option there is. Okay, so we actually came here too early, it seems. We've got to go back to the middle era. So. Maybe we can do that with these ruins. Yeah, that voice doesn't sound like it should be like that. Um. In the year 950 of our Lord, uh, he, here were demons vanquished by Emperor Lothair and his troops. History is always written by the victors. Yeah, that one's gone. Right. So we're looking for future Dalkin. We'll take a boat, shall we? Yeah, bit of freedom. Right, I'll make sure there's no upwards. Oh, hold on. Fine. Where does this take me? I'm not sure. The start, it looks like. Silf Forest. Oh, hello, I met you. Welcome to the Silf Forest. Uh, all time streams converge here to form an infinity of nows. Tis a it is a marvel gift from nature that we are able to spend eternity, an eternal life in a single instant, over and over, and without end. Do you not think so? That's lovely. Uh, did you also come here to find your destiny? Just like the other heroes who seek our oracle's wisdom, I suppose? Oh, it's you. Have you not been here once before? Or perhaps you are not here yet. 
Time matters little in this place. Heroes come from far and wide. Have our oracle reveal their next quest. As she knows all the past and future, she alone can answer their questions. We are at the confluence of time streams, so they sometimes wait years to have their fate revealed. Their fans must be anxiously waiting their return. Very good. Let it go, let it go, can't hold back anymore. Let's where my bombs. I know I had them a second ago. If you meet the chatty fairy, just run the other way. This time I'm totally gonna crush that stuck up blonde dude. He's your best friend, isn't he? I really hope she's not going to get kidnapped again. You are somehow different from the other heroes. For that matter, are you even a hero? Welcome, heroes of this world. I am no hero. I only wish for my son. I know, Manos. <coughs> How about a normal voice, John? Uh, I know, Manos. Uh, the currents of time keep no secrets from us sylphs. All events occur here, time and again, ad infinitum. But that means everything is already written. Everything we do is meaningless and pointless. Quite the opposite, Fina. The choices you make shape your destiny. And conversely, fate moulds your choices. Only if you possess absolute freedom, the ability to change everything. You're talking about Kuro, aren't you? Yeah. Kuro's one of those few. Uh, his past, present and future choices may change everything or nothing. Does that mean he can save my parents and village? And that I might aid my son before it is too late. Yeah, perhaps I'm much more still. But you must first gather the five fragments of the Magi Key. Is that not why you're here? I have a question for you, Oracle. Ask away, Velvet. Isn't it risky to use the Magi key? It could very well destroy more than it could save. The sheer impact of the event on space-time. I cannot answer your question, Velvet. That is one you humans must tackle. The sylphs, past, present and future uh, are without meaning, uh, as are cause and effect. There is no yesterday or tomorrow. Only the eternal now. Thankfully, despite that, I've learned to talk in a kind of linear fashion. In this now, you are once here and not here. You are saying that what we see before and after to you is an entirety. Precisely, Menos, and you are like you. That is why we cannot judge things as good or bad. They're simply parts of the same whole. So why would one try to differentiate between them? I'm not sure I understand everything, Dr. Manhattan, but I do agree that nothing is ever entirely black or white. Take Reno, for instance. He wanted to kill a lot of humans, and in a way he succeeded, because without him we wouldn't have reached the weapon, but mainly it was the guy standing next to me that did it. But if it had to be me and the Empire, but if it had been me, and the Empire killed my family, wouldn't I have done the same thing? Probably not. I probably wouldn't have thought of getting a super weapon. That takes quite a... I mean, it's quite a reach now that I think about it. I feel silly for saying that. I'd like to think I wouldn't, but I can't ever be sure of that. I'm 90% sure I wouldn't, though. <laughs> I suppose at times we can only judge our actions after the fact. Oracle, can you give us the major key fragments? Had it been in my possession, I'd have gladly given it to you. But the major I entrusted it to the guardian of our sacred grove. John, what accent were you doing? Long ago, the guardian watched over the grove, but his strength withered away. He was eventually corrupted by the evil spirits of the forest, the sadistas. I don't think he can hear you in his current state. And keeping in mind that the different areas tend to merge in the sacred grove, so uh, beware not to wander too much. Is there no way to help this guardian? Maybe we could get rid of those sadistas. Won't be an easy task. 
but perhaps with a sylph's tear. A sylph's tear? Such a thing does such a thing doesn't really exist as we so sylphs neither have past nor future. But we have no sadness, no regret, and uh, therefore no reason to shed tears. And yet, I feel certain you will come by yourselves tear. How can that be? Go see Finvella, the grove's entrance. She'll surely help you. Another challenge to overcome, Kuro. Sounds dangerous. Who? Oh, but maybe there's some major ruins to excavate. I've always taken walks in the forest. Your final choice draws near, Kuro. You're somehow different from the rest of the heroes, for that matter. Okay, I'm just going to talk to you very quickly. You wish to enter the Sacred Grove. I'm afraid that is impossible for mere humans. But wait! You there, you're not entirely human. Who, me? What are you trying to say? I can hardly believe it, but you have a sylph blood in you. Then you must... This is the voice I probably should have chosen. For all of them. The lollipop guild voice. Then you must possess certain powers. Did you never wonder why? Me? Hey. She's got green hair. That's kind of a sylph. You get one power. A sylph. No, you are not a sylph yourself. But you must have one in your family. Someone in my family? Yes. And to enter the sacred grove, you shall have to find them. But that's impossible. That's in my family. My whole village is... Think. There must be a member of this girl's family somewhere. You must find this sylph and retrieve one of her tears to enter the sacred grove. Cool. We've got a mission. I'm going to let you go. Also, your face there. Oh, yeah. I know where a family member is. I think. So, I'm going to let you go. I'm a bit over time now, again. Even though I've cut, I'm have cut, i cutting this video into two. I just want to... Oh, this is the exploded time now. Um... How do I get in there? Yeah, I was going to let you go. I just... John, just let people go. Right, I... I just wanted to walk into a new location, that's all. won't be a second. I'm just going to find the Magi thing. I just, for some reason, went a stupid place. But I know where I'm going. Thankfully. Uh, well, obviously, we're going back in time. Again. So literally where we came from. Is it this? Or is it broken? This one's broken. No, it isn't. Right. Let's make double check we're in the right location and then let you go. No, that's not where I want to be. What? We've... Let's just let you go. Oh, hang on. I'm so confused, but I'm going to let you go. I've been John Fox in Tunnel, John on the West. I've been having... I thought this was... Is there still forest there? I need to check. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is this not literally what you where you came from?
So we are back in the present. It can't be. We didn't activate a megalith. I touched nothing. Some claim the Silk Forest is located outside of the boundaries of time. This must be what they mean. This is a really strange place. Don't you think, Koro? Cool. That's that's really neat. Right, yeah, I've been John Fox and Channel Journal West. I've been having a um oh, what sort of adventure has this been an Evo Land 2 adventure? And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Thank you for watching. The slight case of space-time continuum disorder!